What's up, brewheads? Welcome to another Brew 30, where I drink a beer and pair it with a toy. Today, we have a super dope beer to review with you guys. That is none other than Three Floyds Brewing Company's Crushing Mass. This is a great beer. This is the last one I have in my collection. Uh, it is a barrel-aged coffee stout, and it is awesome. It has a nice little description on the bottle here. It says, between the time when the oceans drank Atlantis and the rise of the barrel-aged beers, there was an age undreamed of. And unto this crushing mass, a barrel-aged coffee stout destined to reign with a terrifying roar. It is your true believer who can now taste the saga and relive, and relive the days of high adventure. So obviously, if you guys are... Conan the Barbarian fans, then you know that this little description is a nice parody or ode to, ode to uh, Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian novels, short stories that aired in, I believe, Weird Tale magazines back in the 1930s. So, you're probably wondering what toy we're going to pair that with. Well, we have a little bit of a Conan uh, connection in a little bit of a roundabout way. If you guys are familiar with uh, Frank Frazetta, he is one of the greatest uh, fantasy artists of all time. Most notably, his covers for the Conan the Barbarian novels are legendary, as well as drawing uh, voluptuous women uh, with really curvy bodies, naked and a little bushy. If, you're, if you know, if you catch my drift, bushy like my beard. But uh, we're going to be pairing it today with another Frenzetta uh, classic character, and that is the Death Dealer. This is a dope figure. If you guys are familiar with the Death Dealer, he was the cover of the Molly Hatchet albums in the 1970s, and another classic character created by Frank Frazetta uh, for his fantasy art um, this here is a TB League or Fison TB League figure. It's a 112 scale figure. It's really cool. I just picked it up in an estate sale recently, and I thought this would pair almost awesome with this crushing mass. I've done both of my Conan figures, and I figured I could pair this guy with this one, even though this is a Conan-themed beer. Death Dealer's super dope. Uh, several years ago, uh, Glenn Danzig, uh, did a series of Death Dealer comics that weren't too bad, but uh, I love this character. Uh, there's a couple different action figure variations of him out there, uh, one by Mezco as part of their 112 Collective, which is a really cool figure as well, but this is the one that I have. Uh, as always, you will be using a Three Floyds glass for this. Now, this beer here, we'll go, we'll go ahead and pour it first, and then we'll look at the details of it. As always, there are many ways to pour a beer. There's no right or wrong one. You pour your beer the way you want. I will pour my beer the way I want. And we will still be friends. Now, I've probably had this beer uh, probably for, I'd say, over a year and a half, maybe a little longer. Can't remember when this came out. Looking on the bottle here to see when it was bottled. Let's see. Oh, two, twelve. No, can't really tell you. I can't really remember. But I bought it in a four-pack bottle. Um, drank three of them. And this is a complete heavy hitter. This comes in at a dangerous 15.1% alcohol by volume. <laughs> it is definitely a barrel aged coffee stout. I don't know what type of barrels these were aged in. Obviously, Three Floyds uh, makes their own whiskeys nowadays, so I'm assuming that they use some of the whiskey barrels that they use for some of their other beers and their whiskeys. Uh, we will try this. It has been a long time since I've had one of these. Um, as you can see, I've aged it for I don't like I think a year and a half it doesn't have any heads probably a little flat but that's okay since it's a barrel aged beer I drink these at whatever room temperature is or cellar temperature and that is what this is so let's give it a little bit of a smell first now super boozy uh, the the barrel aging comes through like mad right now on this you can definitely smell 
the uh, the whiskey influence from being aged in a barrel. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of it. Right off the bat, it's very, very sweet, but also the coffee, the roasty coffiness comes through perfectly. If I had to describe it, it's kind of like a dark, uh, a dark chocolate covered espresso bean that is incredibly bitter yet sweet. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but that's what it tastes like to me. Definitely roasty. Uh, if I remember right, when I first tried this, the booziness came through very heavy uh, when we first bought this beer. It's probably set for a while, so the booziness has settled down a bit, which is nice because it makes it a little more palatable to drink. This is like freaking lighter fluid, like 15.1%. 15, 15 you're just going to be... Uh, you're going to be slammed if you're not used to drinking one of these beers. This will be my only beer, uh, obviously, for today. Uh, this is a very, very strong beer. I might as well just grab some bourbon instead. But uh, I love this. This is fantastic. I don't know if Three Floyds uh, plans on releasing this as a seasonal or if this is a one-off. But um, this is a great beer if you find it. If you're a big fan of coffee stouts, and this is definitely up your alley. The roastiness of the coffee comes through perfectly. It's a very well-balanced stout. Like I said, a little bit sweet and a little bit bitter, and it goes together really, really well. So when they brewed this, uh, obviously their intent was to make something to knock your socks off, and they absolutely did. <clears throat> Calling it Crushing Mass was a great name and uh, making it a tribute to the hyperborean age of conan was also a super dope move by three floyd's brewing company uh just like this super dope fison uh death dealer figure <clears throat> big fan of death dealer uh it's weird because i think he gained notoriety in the paintings of frenzetta and uh, i don't think there's a lot of backstory other than the ones that have been made by creators later on down the road, such as Glenn Danzig, and as well as some other comic book companies who have obtained the rights to make Death Dealer figures. Now, something interesting about the uh, Death Dealer uh, and Frenzetta uh, license, the uh, Frenzetta family has started a brand new toy company, uh, Frenzetta Girls, and they are uh, making action figures. If you're familiar with the old... Uh, I think Ralph is it Ralph Bakshi movie Fire and Ice. Uh, I think it's Ralph Bakshi. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But the old Fire and Ice movie from the late '70s, early '80s, uh, Dark Wolf uh, figure is uh, produced by them, and it's super cool too. Hopefully, one day I can uh, grab one and do a, a beer review with that as well. But guys, this is a great beer. I definitely suggest if you guys can find it, if it if it comes out again, uh, be on the lookout. Check out on Three Floyd's Instagram or their Facebook, and uh, you'll see all their latest beer releases. But this is fantastic, crushing mass, coffee, barrel-aged stout, guys. I hope you enjoyed the beer review. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. We're going to be doing more and more beer reviews as the year comes by and pairing them with more and more super dope toys. Guys, cheers.